Ulysses S. Grant was a Union general in the Civil War. After many victorious battles, President Lincoln put him in charge of the entire Union army. He defeated the Confederate army and brought an end to the Civil War. He was treated like a hero and loved by everyone. He couldn't even travel because people everywhere wanted to meet him. He was then elected President of the United States. When he died, millions of people mourned his death. And his face was put on the $50 bill. Grant is considered one of America's greatest people. But he didn't always feel like that. Let's go back to the beginning. Ulysses Grant grew up in Ohio. Then he went to the military academy and became an army officer. He was then stationed in St. Louis. There was a plantation nearby called Whitehaven. There he met Julia Dent. Julia's father didn't think Grant could support his daughter. He had no idea at the time what Grant's future held. Grant and Julia got married anyway. They had children, but Grant had to leave them to work in California. He was very sad and missed his family, so he quit the army and became a regular citizen. Now he could move back to St. Louis and be with Julia and his sons. During some of this time, they lived at Julia's parents' house at White Haven. This was a hard time for Grant. Julia's father gave him some land, but he was very poor. He tried farming, but that didn't go very well. He tried to sell firewood, but that did not work very well either. Grant felt like a failure. At the time, he had no idea what his future held. Soon the Civil War began and he decided to rejoin the army. He was put in charge of troops and soon he began leading his army to one victory after another. It turns out he was a great general. Grant and Julia never lived again at Whitehaven, but the house was preserved. Today it is recognized as Ulysses S. Grant National Historic Site. Let's go visit the site. Look at your Grant's home. A visitor center was built in front of the house. At the visitor center, you can buy a Grant bobblehead, but don't bobble his head off. The barn in Whitehaven has been turned into a museum, so you can start your work as a junior ranger. And now we're off to see the house. This is the parlor room, where Ulysses and Julia would spend time getting to know each other. I want to marry Julia. I don't know about that. A military is the life of my daughter. Ulysses is a good man. He'll still provide for us. Grant would eventually propose to Julia on this front doorstep. We worked on a scavenger hunt to find things throughout the house. This is the sitting room where you would talk and play games. Some of their toys are shown here. Mama, I had a dream that Ulysses is going to be president someday. Ulysses is a sweet boy, but we all know well Ulysses is not going to be president one day. But I know he has a strength for him. Just you wait. This modern stove was the hottest new kitchen appliance at the time. In this office, Grant wrote letters to his family. There were many people enslaved at Whitehaven. They were only allowed to enter the house through the side door. The enslaved workers would cook and prepare food in this area. chicken barn. This is the ice house and this right here, they put their food in to keep it cold. It's like a freezer, but like a million times bigger. 
If you met Ulysses S. Grant on these grounds when he lived here, he would have seemed pretty ordinary. But Julia could see greatness in him. And if you look hard enough, you can see the greatness in yourself too. See you at the next part!